back with your favorite husband and wife team, Shirley and Gary Armstrong, here at the NBG Studios in Fresno, California. Hi, welcome back to NBG. Up next, we have some great sweaters that may or may not have been worn by a celebrity. <laughs> That's right, Shirley. Wearing one of these synthetic Himalayan goat fur sweaters, you'll feel as dependable as a real-life Nepalese Sherpa. <laughs> oh, it's really hard to find that kind of dependability these days, isn't it, Gare? What's that supposed to mean, Shirley? <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, Karen, why don't you come over here and show all the viewers how simply stunning you look in that new Himalayan sweater. <laughs> Oh, this just in from our Spanish stallion of a producer, Reggie, that the prices on these sweaters are rapidly shriveling before our very eyes, Gary, and they're likely to stay flaccid all night long. <laughs> <laughs> it was Reggie, wasn't it? <laughs> Karen, why don't you continue turning around? It's really hard to see that wonderful etching and, and stitch work on that sweater unless you're... <laughs> you're sleeping with Reggie, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, I would have expected it from the pool book, but Reggie? It's not even circumcised. <laughs> I happen to love turtlenecks, and, and I don't have to justify anything to you, you silly goat scrote. Notice how the beautiful colors go perfectly with the brown etching on the sweaters. You really can't find merchandise like that anymore, can you, Gare Bear? <laughs> Excuse me, Shirley, but I wasn't asking you to justify anything. <laughs> All I want is a simple yes or no answer. Are you having sex with this megalith peddler? Yes or no? <laughs> <laughs> now listen up, you shriveling excuse for a man. Don't blame me because I was, Reggie was the only one who could test pass my sexual SATs. <laughs> <laughs> sexual SATs, eh? <laughs> What are you, in high school? God, you're so mature. Oh, please, yeah. Like you could talk to me about maturity. You wouldn't know a real man, even if he slapped you upside the head with a handful of foreskin. <laughs> Karen, why don't you come over here for a second? I want you to meet somebody. Shirley, this is Karen. Karen Shirley. Karen is the woman I've been sleeping with for the past six months, Shirley. <laughs> and guess what? We're in love. How does that make you feel? Oh, <laughs> and she's pregnant. Guess what we're going to name the kid? Ben. Yeah, that's right. After your father. You know, the one that disowned you. <laughs> How does that make you feel? Oh, and you're cooking. I've always hated it. I always thought it tasted like Satan. <laughs> oh, and one more thing. Your brother Bill. <laughs> I hope next time he takes a business trip to San Francisco, he forgets that fanny pack of rubbers he always carries. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Well, viewers, I hope you enjoy all your sweaters. <laughs> Come on, Karen, we're going to leave. <laughs> and stay tuned for a special episode of the new hit reality show, Oops, I Married My Grandmother, coming to you live from the Appalachians. And <laughs>